One of the greatest Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners of all time is Marcelo Garcia. And Marcelo Garcia has an amazing butterfly guard. And for a long time, I used to study his game and look for ways to improve and add some of the things that he was using into my arsenal. And uh, I found that the way that he utilizes his butterfly guard is a thing of genius. And the way he does it is he goes about making himself the floor. He gets himself directly underneath his opponent, stretches his opponent's limbs out, and doesn't give them any quality contact with the floor, essentially controlling his opponent and sending him wherever he wants. You know, there's different ways to play butterfly guard. There's the connection with one underhook here, or over, two over, one over, one under. You can grab a collar tie and just kind of grab the elbow. Marcelo kind of utilizes all of those things, but it's not necessarily the grip or I would say that's probably the least important thing that he's doing in this type of guard. Whether he's going overhook, underhook, collar tie, controlling the tricep, whatever it is, what he's doing is trying to pin and line up or mirror his opponent's body position with his. This is only one part of it. Josh, can you uh, stand up here? Yeah, oh yeah. Can you pin me to the mat? I can't really do much. Can you place one leg out? Can you push yourself over around my guard? Right. I have good grips, but I don't have good connection. We'll start here. I'll have one underhook here and one overhook. We're going to ask you those exact same questions, Josh. Ready? Okay. Can you move left or right? Not at all. Okay. Can you go up or down? I can't move. Can you step up and over with your leg? Can you pin me? Nope. So now I am essentially the floor, okay? And now I can move him by tilting and turning in order to get on top. The way that I do that is I have such a good connection here that I'm able to get directly underneath him. So all these points that are touching now where you can kind of push off the floor to raise your hip up, he generates force and he generates his movement by utilizing the floor. If I can be the thing that's directly underneath him, and now you'll notice, are your knees really making contact with the floor right now? Not at all. Not at all. What about uh, your hands? I mean, just big. Kind of a little bit? Your chest? No. Your feet, kind of, sort of. Can you generate force off the floor? Can you push effectively to move yourself? No. No. All right, post your hand on the mat. I can pull it out. I can grab the tricep to bring it in. I can push it down, and now I can tilt very easily to move him into a top position. Now if I do miss a connection, and as I get underneath him, I spread him out, and let's say I didn't get great connection to the floor, and he posts his leg out to the mat, all right, I now i am unable to really get the quality connection I need to sweep him. This is saving him right now. If you find that, look at all the space between my shin and the inside of his leg. If you find that you're missing that point of connection, you can always take it out by pushing it down. This side of my body is mirrored with his, so I am the floor on this side, and now I can move him to get into this mount position. When you're considering using Butterfly guard, don't think of it in terms of grips and grabs and what you need to control with posting hands and posting legs. It's the full body connection. You are trying to be the thing that's directly underneath your opponent. If this is you, you want to be here. Now, you are the thing that can tip it left to right, up and down. If you are slightly misaligned, these things, these limbs or whatever it is, one, two, three, four, they're making contact with the mat. They can elevate, they can shift, they can move side to side. Make sure you're directly underneath creating that connection and taking away his ability to create force off the floor. Thank you, Marcelo, for giving us so many great, great matches and um, for delivering this very effective type of guard. If you find this video helpful for your game or for others, please share, please subscribe, spread the news about this YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want more information on other instructional material, check out KennyFlorian.com. And you can also follow me on social media at KennyFlorian.